day 16 on the Baja Divide. So I forgot to mention in the last video, but we skipped this big section of the divide um, and just did highway riding from Santa Rosalita all the way to Vizcayeno um, because we wanted to get to a bike shop and I just wanted to check my derailleur as well because it was a completely new setup um, and I am not a bike mechanic by any means very new to the biking world so yeah we went along the highway for this section so not the official Baja route um, and we enjoyed the highway riding it definitely wasn't as busy as I thought it might be it was pretty nice I mean highways get pretty boring after a little while very flat and tedious riding but there was lots of little shops that we could stop at and we found pomegranates for lunch just on the side of the road and then in Vizcayeno we went to Ian's bike shop which I would highly recommend he was great he um he corrected my derailleur hanger we tried to correct it ourselves but he corrected it with his tools um, and he gave me a second hand derailleur and cleaned my cassette um, and yeah he spent some time and then he even let us camp in his backyard which was really lovely and Casper helped us a lot with his skills in Spanish um, I think if it had just been us in that bike shop we might not have had such an incredible time because Ian doesn't speak that much English but he was very very helpful anyway and I'm sure we would have got by um, but yeah this is us just setting up camp in his backyard and he had water for us there was a toilet there and um, just enjoyed being in a town I guess and it turns out there was music, Mexican music playing the entire night, which is not that uncommon in fri on Friday nights um, in Mexico, I found out. So if you want a good night's sleep, I would suggest not camping in any towns. But it worked out really well for us in our situation. And um, I was pretty happy with the new... Uh, set up of my bike but I also found out after riding it a little bit um my derailleur is sorry not my derailleur my cassette is completely screwed up from all the mud so there's some teeth missing and my chain jumps around a lot but it's still rideable and I think potentially cleaning it just cleaning the cassette just showed me how damaged it had been so riding has not been as fun as it used to be on my bike but I think we're going to manage and I am not going to get a new cassette until the end of Baja because the mud really ruins your bikes out here so I don't want to change it until the end so I'm hanging in there and it's working and everything is going okay.